Hi everyone. In the season finale of the television series called Revolution, they gave a lot of signs of the Illuminati and the plans for the end of the age coming. In this series, the power has been turned off all across the world. And now at the end of this season finale, the power is about to come on, and they're talking of this clown that's being seen. And they actually have a type of zombies in this show that have been infected by a robotic technology known as nanobots, called nanites, right here. These little things that can do anything, just as in the Bible with the machines blended with mankind. Well, in this series, it shows the a town waking up in Idaho and this clown being revealed and drawing all of the zombies to it. And the woman saying that this is the scariest thing coming, basically, that this is this clown means the end, the smiling man, as you will. Well, we've shown this guy around a lot, and I noticed a lot of people didn't know what this was in this series and all the breakdowns. He's right here on the Illuminati box cover. See him right up here? This clown. And he wants to get to what's known as the Fifth Age. We are in the Fourth Age now, the Age of Grace and Mercy. And in the Fifth Age of the Bible, it's the time of the Great Tribulation and a Great Deception that comes upon the Earth. See the zombies? Right here? The time when the USA falls? This eagle represents a rapture situation, the wings of an eagle granted to the woman. And then this idol worship comes up, and this actual robot over here with this big syringe doing the mark of the beast. All right here. There's the clown. He's waking up. He wants to get to the fifth age. This is the end of grace and mercy. It begins basically Armageddon coming. There's no more mercy and grace from Jesus Christ. The wages of sin are death through there. But we've shown this a bunch. Let's watch this little clip right here. When you get there, it's all going to make sense. You have a higher calling now. God has chosen you. They're all being told to go to Bradbury, Idaho. We'll show that. Remember that. I need you to do this. For me. Truth look like Boy Scouts. So they're all heading to Bradbury, Idaho. All those different people that are being rounded up. And this woman is telling her partner here about what's coming. There's nothing we can do to stop it. And it all starts with it. This grinning man. The grinning man. The clown we just saw. Right here. And there's no way to stop this. That's one of the things I've shown in all of this stuff about the Illuminati and the end of the age of the Bible. Once it starts, it, it's going to run its course. It, that's, there's no way to stop these things. Once Jesus pops those seals and lets all the horsemen go, there's no putting all of this back into the bottle. It will, be, we, it will have to run its course, and it will all go according to Scripture. May God have mercy on us all. And there he is right there. And you can see that even the people that have been watching this series haven't noticed that. She just mentioned it. What grinning man? What does that mean? Here he is right here, and this is Bradbury, Idaho, where everybody was just told to go. If you notice right here, it even has 42. There's a lot of reasons for this. The beast actually lasts for 40 and 2 months in the Bible. The beast that rises from the pit. And there it is right there. There comes the clown. This begins right here. Three ring ice cream. Let's do something real quick. I know something about this clown. Let's show about him. He was shown in the Batman The Dark Knight Rises movie and he rose from the pit with all of his dark army from inside of the sewers 
here he is right here Bane and see how he's wearing the shirt this is how these clues are right in front of us all the time and it represents the three woes of the Bible coming when the horsemen are riding why three right there in front of us and there he is right there well we need a little bit more evidence than, than this don't we you can actually see the Templars logo behind him also right in that circle or the X for that but well, we need a little bit more evidence we have this it's perfect you know the three and the three and him well in the movie did they ever show Bane as a clown yes they did they showed him in the pit with this outfit on and his nose bloodied and he looked like he was a clown see him right here this is Bane coming up from the abyss from the pit with his dark army as you will all coming right there good job team we just solved all these mysteries the fifth age the clown coming and it was just shown on the 21st of May I believe was the episode of the last episode that was played right here the end of the age the great tribulation cranking up right here. and then it shows all the zombies showing up that are infected with that nanites there they all go Bane and his army they said they were going to Bradbury Idaho well I've mapped out most of the world and shown how everything's going by the script of the Bible that once this starts it's like a clock it's the whole universe will be working to make all of this happen Idaho is in the shape of the grinning man coming right here this guy right here like a clown coming you see how it even says bitter root right here the bitter root shows him coming also there he is as this little guy see him right there as this guy right here in this boot so you can see him there right inside of that and now you can see him here when he comes this doesn't mean he falls in Idaho you can see that everybody's heading up here in the World War three calculations of the USA this area is supposed to be okay from nuclear weapons because most of the radiation will go from the west to the east just because of the natural way that the earth is and the way the wind blows and it's the natural currents everything blows from the west side towards the east naturally every once in a while you get some Santa Ana winds but all the radiation would head towards the east and they believe all of this is where a big part of the ground battle of World War three would go on as the rest of the USA is nuked so you can see as he comes and then Nevada actually makes the guillotines right there he begins the guillotines now I've mapped out all the world like this this you can actually see right here you're gonna see Obama removing his mask you see the, how this guillotine comes down and it actually knocks this mask off see these green lines right by the Salton Sea area which is supposed to all this area is supposed to be hit by a giant earthquake and you can actually see right here the face of Obama see how this is his mask coming off he's taking off his mask and he's being revealed right then and there and that is when this Phoenix flies representing the rapture this eagle right there then the zombies heading to Idaho all right in front of us confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah this is Mecca right where they go around the black stone it represents that beast from the bottomless pit Allah is not God Allah has no son Jehovah has a son and his name is Jesus Christ whom was risen from the dead here is the clown right here 
There he is. Right there. Right there. Thank you very much, everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. He's also seen as an elephant, representing ganache from in the Hindu religion. He comes to smash everything up. May God have mercy on us all. This is everywhere. It's God can make a new heaven and a new earth. Everything is real. Thank you very much, everybody. May the Lord Jesus Christ have mercy on us all. Hallelujah.